Hey everyone, I'm Weston Summers. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for visiting once again. Be sure to check out some other stuff while you're here. Okay, in today's video we're going to have a continuation video of a video we did a few nights ago. And that's going to be on the new Elect Stack 3400 micro USB recharging batteries. So, these batteries have a micro USB charging port in the top of them where you don't have to take a charger anymore. They're about the same size as a night core protected cell. 3400 milliamps and these are supposed to have a 10 amp high drain. So the most performance, high performance flashlight I have is the old model TK75 which is up over 2000 something lumens. So we'll be using that one. I think it's 2750. Alright, now these have all been charged on a LiPo charger on a D4 Intelli charger but they've been run for a moment to make them show red and I have this one on a battery pack with a micro USB plugged into it to show you the green LED on the top. So I'm going to look at the camera, make sure that focused in. Alright, it did. There's green. Now I'm going to show you where the red is because the red's just on the other side. So that one's fully charged and these are right at the end of it, of charging. And there's the red. So now you know if they're charged or not. You don't have to have any indicators, it's just on the battery. Alrighty, well now that those are charged up, let's throw them in this battery carriage here for the TK and we'll show you how it does on beam shots here or how it does for running the flashlight. Okay, be sure to look up your measurements for these batteries as they do vary in length and they only sit, fit certain things. So keep that in mind as you order your batteries. All right, let's make sure we got power. We do. And we're going to do some beam shots here on the back wall. So I'll scoot back. We can see this. Low, medium, high, turbo. Nice. You guys want to see that? There you go. Hopefully it doesn't mess up the camera. So low, medium, high, turbo. Not an issue whatsoever running the turbo mode on this flashlight. Now, I have run it for several minutes on turbo to test this before the video and the flashlight will actually get too hot and will actually step down before it uh, lets the batteries overcharge. So they would run it non-stop. Alrighty, here's my hand and then just for grins, I'll shine me because I have such a bright personality here on camera. All right, well, we're going to leave this on here while I tell you what to check. Okay, so these things run about $39 a piece for two of them. You get a set of two. Make sure you check the length on your battery. This is very important, depending on if you're using an unprotected cell, a protected cell, what length battery set gauge you need for your particular device. So if you have a vapor box that uses like unprotected cells, these aren't going to work for you. If you have a flashlight that uses unprotected cells for 18650, they won't work for you either. But if you have one that uses protected cells, I compared it most closely to the Nightcore 3400 milliamp. They're almost exactly the same size. If it works with that, chances are it's going to work with these. I know the 18650 battery market is extremely overcrowded and there's a lot of good producers out there, but there's a lot of bad ones also. So, as you can tell, it hasn't stepped down yet. We're going to cut this video off at about 3 minutes and 30 seconds. And if you guys are looking for a new battery to replace some of your old ones, give these Elect Stack 3400 ones a, a good run for your money. I've been very happy with them for what I purchased them at, and I hope they serve me for many years. Alright, you guys, good luck with your battery purchase, and let me know what you uh, have thoughts, and I'll try and do my best to answer any of your questions and comments down below. Y'all have a great one. Weston out.